The next document that we'll review is called a combination living will and designation of healthcare surrogate with a built-in HIPAA. This is the document that states your desire to not be artificially maintained on life support if you are incapacitated, have a terminal condition, in stage condition, or are in a persistent vegetative state as determined by both your primary physician and a consulting physician that there is no reasonable medical probability of your recovery. So this document isn't right for everyone. If you have different thoughts on um, artificial life support, you may or may not have this document, but if it is your wish that you do not wish to have it, then this will be a, an appropriate document for you to sign. The second component of this document is your designation of healthcare surrogate. So this is the document that allows your agents to make medical decisions for you. You'll list your agents in succession here, or if you have listed co-agents, their authority to act jointly will be specified here underneath their names. You're giving them some instructions. Um, for example, if you initial here, you're okay with them accessing your medical records. If you initial here, you're okay with them making healthcare decisions for you. If you initial in this top box, you're okay with the document taking effect today. The default, if you do not initial in that box, is that the document takes effect when you no longer have the capacity to make your own decisions. If you initial here, it says that the authority that you have to make your own decisions takes priority over what anybody else may want for you. And then we have some definitions for several pages and a built-in HIPAA. This document does revoke any prior advanced directives that you might have signed, and you should give a copy of your advanced directives to your primary care physicians and any specialists that you see in the future. The next document is called an appointment of agent to control disposition of remains. So this is the document where you state your request for burial or cremation and the people that you trust to make that request happen for you. We do incorporate an exhibit where you can add important details about what that looks like for you. So things that you know you do want, things that you don't want, um, where the funds for whatever ceremony you would like to have are supposed to come from. If you have a long-term or a, um, a prepaid burial plot, that all of that information would be appropriate to put here. And all of these documents together make up what we call advanced directives, in other words, a power of attorney for medical decisions.